was the dawn of a great religious awakening. For the producers of Wild Wild Country. We anointed ourselves. God's chosen people. Comes a new documentary series. When they arrived, we asked them who they were. They said only one word. About America's first cult. Pilgrims. Plymouth was an intentional colony. Everywhere you looked, there were righteous, puritanical souls. Some of them ashamed of their bodies, and others just awaiting God's wrath. And the women folk, mercy, was all about the free chastity. Lo, those early days. It was all about getting closer to Him. You know, Jesus. When they first got here, we thought nothing of it because, you know, people come through here all the time. These guys stayed. Many of us, we did believe in peace. But of course there was Constance. The Lord compelled me to protect us. She was a real piece of work. They have this real culty vibe. They'd always wear the same colored clothes. They all just seem brainwashed. Our mission in the New World was to worship freely our Lord and to save poor heathen souls. While they were trying to save our souls, all we did was try to keep them from starving to death. Fourth Thursday of November was upon us, and we decided to throw a grand dinner party. Everything was going fine, except Constance kept telling us to try the salad. Try the salad, she said, over and over again. You'll die of satisfaction. She sprayed it with smallpox. They accused me of spreading disease. Show with proof, said I. <laughs> so! You're gonna edit that out, right? We don't want these long-stocking freaks here. We were the persecuted ones. Those heathen savages with their peace pipes and their maize. We call it corn in America. Look, we dreamed America could someday be a place of Christian fundamentalism. Obviously, we did fail at that. I said not that a kingdom of God would be easy but never did I expect Plymouth to be this rocky. Constance, to those who chastise your methods, what say you? What canst I say? Tough, dirty pillows. <laughs>